be a tank cho i assume it might be because that's kind of what they're lacking right now but how does a cho play into a uranus if you're kind of wandering all over the map which is where cho shines uh with those jikundos uh is he going to be able to stop uranus from these these cuts from getting into the base and just soaking up all that gold but we're going to find out here we are right in the middle of it here right now first game vendetta taking on the simpsons uh and Man, like I said, it's it's big and a lot on the line here. One of these teams potentially going home tonight and another one going to be moving on, I assume. Yeah, I don't think, you know, to answer your question about the Cho, well, specifically, they're going to be fighting already. Okay. First yeah. blood. Yeah, they, <laughs> they are coming in there. Nate in a little bit of trouble is going to be able to get himself to safety. And this is kind of the problem there. Oh, man. And they're already in there. Was uh, the Galaxy not able to get that blue buff? Fallen able to kind of, uh, I believe they they went ahead and expended that uh, that retribution for it. Uh, so they were able to successfully uh, force that out. But like like we were saying, it's it's kind of a little bit of risk. You already saw Salim taking a heap of damage there. Fallen going ahead, locking onto Shiki. Shiki doesn't have level four yet. It is going to be taken out by Fallen here in the one minute uh, 30 mark. So a good start for the Simpsons. A lot of aggression and still kind of keeping that calmness that they need. Yeah, and I mean, those are two early kills already for the Simpsons. Uh, and my point with this Cho is I think it's more so just to handle that lane. He's not really going to be doing anything against Uranus. That's usually how the Uranus matchups go anyway, right? So they're going to be basically just planning promise there. And once he's level four, he his sole goal is to pretty much find fl uh, like flicker way of the dragon combos, right? We saw him just try to do it there. It failed. Uh, but again, that's his assignment for the majority of the game. Be part of that pick process. Fallen is going to be just countering in the jungle right now. Not sure if they want to actually commit to the turtle just yet, but everybody's centering around the turtle. Yeah, it looks like they are going to go ahead and pick up a kill onto Theo. That is a roam taken out of this position, so they are already a man down for this. We do see a wave of the dragon does land on the galaxy, and, and he is promised going to go ahead and get out of there while Nate cleans that up in a great position right now. They have two down for this turtle. Fallen going to go ahead and pick that up, and they are on top of Poggy. Poggy gets taken down quite quickly. Shiki running for his life right now is going to be able to find it out, even with that. Look at that damage there. Is going to go ahead, have to expend those black shoes there, and we do see that time journey coming up with cinderella to go ahead and secure that reset for the simpsons and, i mean uh, action packed right now i can't even tell if they stop here it comes the fatal links on the two members nate's gonna go ahead and expend that flicker to get away but get stunned up again by theo cinderella powerless to do anything but watch and throwing out those diggy bombs but not enough there you see yuna taking a heap of damage and it is still a one and five game but still some answers coming from vendetta yeah, that's, I mean, that's crucial for Vendetta because if anybody, uh, Shiki needs the kills, running the mystery shop, gonna be able to hopefully get the items that he needs faster. But that's the thing, right? That's gonna be one of the main, I guess, tools that they have to slow the Simpsons down because they're already starting this snowball. They're already starting that momentum. And you can see it across map, the plays, the pressure that they're putting on because that's exactly what the line, the lineup is supposed to do. Again, we saw it earlier too, uh, just before that turtle fight with Nate and Promise doing I, like doing the job. I mean, the arrow landed, the way of the dragon landed. That's always something that the Vendetta is going to have to watch out for. The best thing they can do is hold on. Literally, that's all they have to do. Uh, scale into the mid to late game, get quite tanky to the point where you're not getting one shot at every time you get an arrow to the face or you get kicked in a certain direction. So they need to do their best to just stay alive. Yes, it's a 2K-ish gold lead at this point. And if Poggy can get some kills here, that's gonna be crucial. Yeah, it looks like Nate getting uh, kind of outgunned there. Did land an abyssal arrow, but got taken out by Pogi there with that uh, Paquito there, trying to protect Theo. And now they're going to go ahead and just shave off a little bit of gold from this as our first turtle, or uh, as the uh, second turtle, or I believe this is the first turtle, yeah, is going to be worked on by, or second turtle worked on by Pogi. Uh, and not really much that the side of the Simpsons can do. They do, they are, they were a man down, and Pogi going to go ahead and clean that up quite quickly. Theo going to use that flicker to get away from 
from Fallen and Cinderella starting to even things out a little bit now. That early burst from the Simpsons seems to have staved off right now. So both teams kind of uh, being a little bit more patient as they're going to have to kind of reset here. Going to have to think about these things because they cannot depend on that early surprise that they had going earlier. As you see a stun land onto Uranus there. Yeah, like they're but Vendetta's doing it, right? I mean, they've lowered that gold gap just a little bit by about a thousand. You can already see the items too. Uh, first items being picked up by the majority of the members. And that's uh, the next item, especially going in the hands of Shiki, if it is going to be the Ice Queen wand, whichever path he decides to go on the Lilia is going to be crucial here. Cinderella going to be the focus. I don't think he has the backup. Here they come. Yeah, Cinderella actually, oh, gets taken oh. out there by Yuna, but now we have Nate coming in here. Cold World does expend that Blazing Duet, is in a, a little bit of way. He's gonna go use that BMI to get out of the way. Nate gets taken out by Promise, or uh, by Sheik, or by uh, by Shiki here. You see the way the dragon does land onto Shiki, is trying to put on the damage. Black shoes come out. Cinderella doing the best she can to kind of help Promise out. In comes Cold World. Time Journey comes out just a few seconds. Too late to protect Cho. Cinderella going to get taken out here. And we have evened this out. Actually, now it is actually in the lead for Vendetta right now as they have swung this around into their favor with those last fights. See, like I was saying, you know, that's why you want to have that durable factor on your team composition because the Simpsons, they kind of just unloaded and then they didn't have any more steam, right? And at the same time, they just got whittled down here. Now Yuna going to be the focus. Still alive, though. Hoggy now. Yeah, putting on the damage onto Fallen, who's going to have to use, uh, I, I believe it was that Shadow Assault to go ahead and find an escape there, which means they're not going to have the Shadow Assault for this turtle coming up. And you see right now they are still... Uh, uh, Cinderella kind of trying to give a little bit of vision, but I'm not sure that the Simpsons is going to be able to do anything. That's going to be the second turtle in a row that goes over to the Simpsons as things are quickly kind of falling out of their hands, maybe about a little under a 1k gold lead there. And you, can, you were talking about it before, that tankiness chasing Fallen right now as they're not able to really kind of contend with it. We have two down here at the bottom trying to put on the pressure, uh, but they're going to go ahead and be turned away uh, at the tower. Yeah, so going back to the point, too, I mean, there's just action all over the map. They're not, uh, the thing is, okay, Cold World, actually, will he be able to survive this? I don't think so. He's going to get crashed down, uh, trying to get a kill there before he's taken out himself. He does manage to get to that turret, but is just going to end up going down. And now here under the turret, once again, Nate has to flicker out. So, I mean, going back to the point here, Private, like, that's the thing, right? If you... If you unload, you have all your ultimates, you have everything like that unleashed, and it's on the wrong targets of Vendetta, that's what's so great about Shiki, right? That's what's so great about Lilia's kit and the the way that Black Shoes is, because what you see Shiki doing is getting all of that stuff out from The Simpsons, using the Black Shoes, and then that durable factor comes in for Vendetta where they're just there. Yeah, you see Galaxy in a little bit of trouble here, but he has his team there to back him up. And a great play by Vendetta there uh, to go ahead and kind of lure in Promise on that show to kind of throw out that Way of the Dragon while the rest of his team came up there from the backup to get that kill. Cinderella in a little bit of trouble here is going to have to activate that time journey as Theo is uh, trying to chase him there. And the jukes from Cinderella. Here comes a fatal Lynx as Cold World's going to have to use that Battle Mirror Image to get out of the way. Theo goes down. We see that an Abyssal Arrow does miss wide fall and trying to juke out the pogey here on that Paquito. We have a reverse time, but Fallen gets taken down right now. Nate trying to come in to finish the job, but just does not have the damage and is going to get pay for that with his life. And you can see there coming in with the Jikundo is promised, but they are just so mobile, so ready for that. He's not able to land it and is almost about to get oh, taken oh, oh. out there, but does get away with just a narrow about one uh, HP there from them, which is going to open up this turtle for Vendetta. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is chaos. Right? That's very chaotic. Uh, just how everything unleashed and kind of unfolded there for the teams. Now, Cold World might get caught out. 
Yeah, he did thankfully oh. have that battle mirror image. Good thinking by him in the early bits of that to kind of create distance between his uh, blazing duet and then teleport back to it to find himself some safety. But it's not going to do anything to really help with securing this Lord right now. We do see them go ahead. The Simpsons going to go ahead and press onto it. They are not going to let this go without a fight. Theo coming in looking for the stun. You see Cobalt is able to take down Theo. Fallen takes out the Lord. This is great news for the Simpsons as they also take down Galaxy. That is two unanswered kills and a Lord for the Simpsons. Uh, and this is just putting them in a great position and has even out the game. You do see that that way the dragon does land on a pokey who gets taken out as well. That is three kills right now. Cinderella gets taken out there, but not before saying a little hello to Vendetta as the rest of the Simpsons is going to go ahead and put the pressure onto this mid tower. Sheik is going to go ahead and have to create some distance from them as we do see a Fatal Links coming out onto Fallen who is trying to latch on in there with that Shadow Assault is going to go ahead and find an escape. Sheiky gets taken out as well. Theo down for the count right now as Cold World gets taken out by Yuna. There are only two people left on the side of Vendetta, but four on the side of the Simpsons as this Lord is pushing at the bottom and we still have pressure mounting. Galaxy trying to cut them off at the purple buff right now. He is tanky enough to kind of withstand that, but he is not able to save that buff for his team. You do see Promise up there trying to lure him in. Are they going to be able to take down Galaxy before we see that reverse time is locked onto him. Abyssal Arrow does go wide. Galaxy juking the heck out of the Simpsons right now. Way of the Dragon comes down now. Is that going to be enough? A flicker from Promise gets him out of harm's way. Galaxy going to go ahead and dive over that wall to safety right now. That's what I like to call durability, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you pick your anus for right there. But even, you know, backtracking just a couple minutes here. When Cold World earlier used that Blazing Duet when it was a one versus four, it was actually a big brain play because it got Theo to use the Fatal Links, right? So they didn't have that and they had to give up the Lord for it. Now, did it convert to much? Not too much, right? It is still a minor gold lead here for the Simpsons. They've swung things back in their favor, but Theo might try again to look for a moment, a setup, and it's not gonna happen. Oh, yeah, and you see that they went ahead and missed that Fatal Lynx. Theo gets taken out by Fallen right there. Fallen is going to have to disengage. They're playing in and out right now. Theo trying to come in with that damage. Promise gets taken out by Pogi. And, well, as we saw that the Blazing Duet came in there, Nate and Fallen going to go pick up kills as well. That is four unanswered kills. Galaxy in a heap of trouble. Is he going to be able to have that same durability against four players of the Simpsons? It looks like he doesn't have to find out right now as they are going to go ahead, focus on this mid lane. Man, so, you know, that's the thing, right? You just try to ignore Galaxy here, try to get some of these turrets. That's the that's the plan here for the Simpsons. They do grab some big kills. Oh, no. Wow! <laughs> a combination of a flicker with that uh, time journey from Cinderella, able to save Cold World from what I thought was a horrible mistake by him to dive <laughs> with that blazing duet into the tower. So, I mean... That, I mean, that just kind of speaks for the synergy right now. We were wondering if if they were going to have the same syn synergy with Cinderella that they did with Damien on this roam position. I mean, I think that speaks for itself there. Just they're all over. Cinderella right there covering down for Cold World, whether that was intended or a mistake. We do see that Promise is in a little bit of trouble here. He's going to have to use that Jeet Kune Do to try to get out of the way of all of this damage as the rest of the Simpsons trying to press on to this lore, trying to put on the damage. We see Promise going to go ahead and leap over that wall. I no, we are waiting for that stun to come out right now. Theo comes in. He's going to go ahead and land that stun. Has the fatal links, but Fallen still picks up the Lord. Promise does get taken down by Pokey on that Pakito. Now, senses are on the run, and we've seen this mistake a thousand times. You get the Lord, but you're paying for it with two deaths of your own. So who really won that fight? Luminous Lord down barreling uh, at, the lower, uh, at the lower lane there right now. Well, I think, I mean, the Simpsons should still be okay. It depends on how Cold World, I mean, yeah, he, he tried to do the best he can, pop the blaze, do it, cleared some of the minions, and just forced them back. So, you know, even though that, that, that whole fight went the way that it did, Vendetta is still going to have to handle this, this Luminous Lord, right? They're going to deal with that, the minions as well. So they're not even going to really be able to actually play around that what you could say was a winning team fight for them but still giving up the lord they're really down in terms of map presence map space right so the simpsons 
yeah, Fallen and Promise went down, but still, you've got Cold World there. Uh, you've got Cinderella and Nate, too, to really keep people at bay. And now, see, they're making plays even on the top side. Uh, and Cold World going down, it's a one-for-one -one trade. How do they play this out? They're still going, Private. Yeah, they are promising a little bit of trouble here. I don't think he's going to be able to get away. He's going to try to use that Jeet Kune Do, but gets a knockout punch from Pogi. Now they are on the chase for Cinderella, who is ready for his life on that thingy. Time reverse is put onto Theo, and Fallen is going to go ahead and find the safety back in his own jungle here. Like, they are trying to find out the picks. They are answering it uh, from each other. But like you said, yeah, they are, I want to say, in a little bit of a better position. A lot more open map right now on Vendetta's side, uh, as, as they have already lost a ton of time towers we do see one one tower going down for the side of the simpsons and it looks like uh we have a little bit of problem there nate is going to get taken out as well so now the kills are in favor of vendetta another back and forth game both of these guys not trying to give up that aggression always answering always kind of coming to the aid and just trying to continue on these fights to punish the enemy team see i'm wondering like what the thought process there was for nate like even if you get the kill on atlas you know what will that result in? But I mean, they're still defending this tier two right here. Yeah, and you see Promise gonna go ahead. He landed that way of the dragon, but put it the wrong direction, which allowed Shiki to go ahead and put on the damage of that Lilia onto the Cho, and Cho just got melted. So, I mean, and that's what we were talking about, those decision makings on, on picking your targets, picking where you're gonna put your targets, and is this beneficial for the team? Cold World up at the top is unable to protect that tower, and now we're starting to see the towers start to even out. Only inhibitors left for both teams right now and uh i mean this could be anybody's game but the slight gold advantage leaning in the direction of vendetta yeah so this next lord that's coming up here is going to be crucial obviously uh the great thing for vendetta is they have almost evened out the turrets right they've also got that nice little comfortable gold lead not sure if the simpsons might actually be able to take this but they're gonna try yeah, they are 10% left on that Lord. Cold World's gonna come in with that place to do it. We see the damage coming on there. Pogi able to pick up this Luminous Lord right now. Theo gets taken out as well. Fallen in a bit of trouble, gets taken out by Pogi there. So it is a one for one trade right now. They are still putting on the damage. Cinderella is the next to get taken down. Promise is getting chased down. He is not uh, long for this world though. Gets taken out as well. There are only two left. Cold World and Nate to try to put up a defense there. We do still have a Blazing Duel or no, we don't have a Blazing Duet for Cold World just yet to be able to kind of help clean up these minions. They're going to have to disengage from this tower. Now we are tied up on towers as we have a parade of minions mounted down the mid. Nate's going to try to get out of the way. Does not negate the damage from Shiki as we have the Black Shoes come out. This is going to be game one going over to the side of Vendetta. There you go, right? That's exactly how you do it. It's and I'm going to go back to my point here of private, the fact that they had an Atlas and they had that backup plan, that backup durability 